Satan-filled mob who would call for Jesus to be crucified, hand him over to the soldiers to be uh, tortured, to be mocked, to be humiliated, and to be put on the cross. Satan was going to have his day. He was going to have his, his moment of power. And they would have their moment of triumph as they put Jesus on the cross. But that moment of triumph would turn to defeat because three days later, Jesus would burst out of the tomb, alive, risen from the dead, and victorious, triumphant over sin and death and hell. And Satan would know that he had actually been totally defeated by what he thought was his victory. As he put Jesus on the cross, it was the means by which he would be defeated and people could be set free from his power and come into the presence of God. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul writes, But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. In other words, if they had known what they were doing, they wouldn't have done it because actually putting Jesus on the cross was going to defeat them and the satanic powers behind them because Jesus was going to die as a sacrifice for our sins, be buried and rise again from the dead and therefore have the victory in Jesus. Praise the Lord. And we have the victory. And Jesus could have the victory because Satan has nothing in him. He says, the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. Uh, the NIV says he has no hold over me. Uh, Satan has nothing to accuse Jesus of, nothing to assert his power over him, on him over. And therefore, he is going to be defeated by Jesus. Now, we can't say that Satan has nothing in us. We have a fallen nature. Uh, we have all sinned. 